Hey, Dr. Gregor. Hey, Dr. Gregor here in Chiang Mai. I see Chiang you're going into cycling now. Yes, in cycling is hell good, healthy exercise. And the sugars. Yeah, sugar's great. Simple sugars fuel the brain. Uh, Glucose fructose. 500 grams of sugar in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Studies show if you carb the fuck up, your life gets sweeter. And you're less of a sour bitch. Carb up. Alright, so Pauline inspired me to add some sugar to my banana smoothie. As you can see here, uh, we've got about 250 grams of sugar, and it's just going in. 1,000 calories extra. Boom. It's time to get all G'd up and fired for the day. Let's do it. Ciabatta is Italian bread and it's loaded with nutrients and it's loaded with a fiber. It's going to help me take a shit in the next few minutes. What's a handbag you got over there? Becoming a handbag basic, eh? It is dinner time and I've got the rice here with the Napolitana. Very simple dish, really tasty and cheap to make. As you can see, I've got this big fat wooden spoon. It's just so that I don't damage the bottom of the pan for the rice cooker. So, the topic that I want to talk about today is dealing with negative comments, dealing with haters, dealing with resistance in general. So, my channel is not that big, my social media presence is not that big, so I don't really have to deal with so much hate and there's not a lot of people around the world who know of me, but someone like Holly, for example, he deals with a lot of hate and he faces a lot of resistance in everyday life. So he's someone that I can really learn from. And I actually have learned from him. I learned a lot. So instead of going through personal experience, you can shorten the learning curve just by learning from someone else who, who's like the master of getting hate, getting resistance and getting people that attack him so to deal with hate all you got to do is just focus on what your mission is, what is your purpose why are you on the internet why are you, why are you living the way that you are If your mission is strong enough in life, it doesn't matter how much resistance you get, you'll always be able to deal with it. Because having a strong sense of mission means you don't give a fuck what other people think. Or you do care what they think, but it doesn't deter you. Because you're focused on your goals, you're focused on your outcome. And that's really the strongest thing that you can have in life it's the strongest driving force and that's masculine energy going for what you want in life so as an example I might have these fears of going up to a girl fears that she'll reject me but if I focus on what my outcome is my outcome is to get laid <laughs> or at least that's the that's the end of it, you know? Um, I know. <laughs> she thinks it's funny. I'm just being honest. That is a guy's outcome is to get a girl in the bed. Because that is what we are designed to do. That's our primary function. <laughs> yeah. So you just focus on the outcome that you want. And that'll get you through any fear of rejection of course you're going to fail you're going to fail many times 
but you'll get it right eventually. You just gotta keep doing it. And it's the same with anything else that you wanna face in life. Just focus on the outcome. The outcome empowers you to face all kinds of resistance. Run the dance. I was going on the sugar challenge. It's doing well. <laughs> so far. Are you surviving? Yeah. That's a 500 gram tub, by the way. Yeah, she says she is getting a little bit sick of the sugar. Mm. Yeah, I think it's alright. I like the taste, but I prefer like, the taste of fruit or starches or yeah, something else. But it's okay. But if you start something, you've got to finish it. Yeah, you know, you do what they say. Mm -hmm. and woman and that's one thing that I can work on. Mm -hmm. I've seen so many things on this channel, mm. and I haven't even fucking done it. Yeah. So that's my weakness. I think the reason for that is. You're not dishonest. I, I just make decisions too quick, like I'm emotional in the moment and then you really afterwards, want to do it. afterwards I regret it. So it's better just to take some time to make a decision. Yeah. You, I think you're too ambitious yeah. sometimes and then... And this is also linked with procrastination. <laughs> <laughs> you make a decision too fast and then... Or procrastination is indecision. And then you're overwhelmed with your reality. Yeah. <laughs> Be more strategic. <laughs> Another thing with dealing with haters and dealing with resistance is you just gotta have fun with it. You just gotta make a joke out of it. And that way it will never get you down. Yeah, don't take it personally. Yeah, don't take anything personally because it usually isn't personal. The way people respond towards you, the way they act towards you, is a reflection of what they're feeling inside. It's most of the time it isn't about you, but it's about how they feel. No one will ever do or say anything to you that isn't a direct reflection of how they are feeling in the moment. So just be yourself, go for what you want, and don't let anyone get you down. Don't let anyone tell you you can't, because you can, and it's the most authentic way to live. It's the happiest way to live, and you won't regret it. So fuck the haters, fuck the people who give you resistance. Just use them as fuel for your fire. Let them make you even better. I mean, there's, that's probably like the biggest motivation you've got. When someone tells you you can't, it just ignites that desire to prove them wrong and show them fuck, I can.